In this video, you're gonna learn how to clean your center console with a few basic tools and products. Now I get asked this all the time on what can I buy locally or how can I get started with cleaning my interior. You're only gonna need a few basic tools and products. You can either use a toothbrush or this style of nylon brush, this type of upholstery brush or something similar to it that you can find locally, and if possible, some type of, of, of board hair brush like this as well. Again, you can probably find most of these locally, but I'll also have links down below for you to look at. As far as cleaner, again, I buy this locally. It's called Super Clean. I buy the gallon size. Now, why do I buy the, the gallon size? Because this 128 ounce uh, cleaner of Super Clean can make me just about 10 gallon sizes of uh, APC diluted 10 to 1. So APC is all purpose cleaner. So I'll put 11 ounces ish of this cleaner into this gallon and then fill the rest up with water and it gives me a 10 to 1 dilution ratio. So 128 ounces of super clean can make me about 10 of these. And as far as a towel, again, you can buy it locally. The cheapest of cheap microfiber towels that they offer right there. No biggie if you're just doing this as your personal vehicle. If you are trying to get into a business and you wanna start offering services, I would still recommend to go and just buy things locally so you can just get started now and not wait for those high quality towels or tools because it's about taking action. So I'm gonna be reviewing the video of me on site and just walk you through what I did why I did it, and then how you can go about cleaning your center console in your vehicle. So as you can see, I started off by spraying the cleaner into the brush and, on, and just lightly onto the surface. That's because I had already cleaned the other areas of the interior, meaning the seats and the other part of the center console. So I didn't want much overspray. So to keep everything contained, I'm gonna spray into the brush and onto the center console. If I was just um, starting to clean the center console and nothing else was clean, I wouldn't mind misting it. But because I just cleaned everything else and wanted to keep everything nice and tight, I spread it into the brush and onto the surface very lightly. And because I didn't think this was doing that aggressive of a job, I moved up and started using this bristle brush. Now, if you only have one or two of these brushes, that's fine. You might have to do several applications. You're gonna clean, you're gonna spray, agitate, wipe down, inspect your results, and then if it needs another pass, you'll make another pass. So don't think that you have to have both or one's better than the other. You just have to go about your cleaning, inspect, and see if you have to do it again. Now you don't wanna put that much down pressure. It's better to go lighter with more passes rather than go super aggressive and keep on going, you know, keep on going overly aggressive on the material. And most of your vehicles are gonna come out in this condition. Maybe not as dramatic as this, but since it is the driver side and passenger side of the front vehicle, that's where you're gonna rest your arms and you have the sweat, oils, food, grease, makeup, whatever touches your forearm and gets transferred to the material, it's gonna stay on there and over time, it's gonna create maybe like a, a brownish look, it's gonna have some shine to it, it's gonna feel a bit sticky. So once you clean it, you'll reveal the more natural side of the material. And next is you'll literally repeat the same process to the other areas of the surface you're cleaning. Now keep in mind that you wanna be, you wanna pay attention and make sure you're not removing the actual uh, uh, hide or color or pigment of the material you're cleaning. Sometimes, not often, but sometimes you might actually be pulling off the paint. So instead of you, you might be thinking it's dirt that you keep on wiping off because it's like either black or dark and it's actually the actual pigment or clear coat or hide of the material you're cleaning. So be very mindful in saying, am I pulling off color or am I actually pulling off dirt? And if you wanna do a great job, make sure you're cleaning the top surface, the sides, 
the back, the front, and even open up that center console to clean underneath. It's a very simple and straightforward job. Don't be intimidated, whether it's your first time, your 10th time, you haven't done it in a long time, have fun with it. It'll be a dramatic difference. It'll give you a good pat on the back that you've done the work yourself. So have fun. If you have any questions, comments, feedback about anything of the interior or anything, just leave those in the comment section down below. I'll be answering those questions and I'll see you on the next video.